like your style Put you in Chanel cause it's just perfect for your smile Girl I swear for you I'd run the world, I'd run the miles The way you look at me I think I'm going insane Everybody, how are we? What is going on? Welcome back to another video. Uh, in today's video, oh shit, I dropped my cardi. Ah, there it is. Um, in today's video, we're going to crack back into the top 100 list of 2019 for the NFL. <laughs> it's Odell Beckham Jr. We must be in the top few, and that's because we are. We're actually in the top quarter. He's at number 23 on the list, Odell Beckham Jr. I think he must have come in, must have been in the top 20 last year. I seem to think, I seem to recall like 17, 18, something like that. I might be completely wrong, but anyways, in the meantime, uh, I'm actually going to prepare my first smoke of weed in this entire series. Do, would you believe I've, I've done every single reaction without, without being high once, and um... <laughs> The main reason is because if I get high and start watching some stuff, well, I'm, I'm probably going to go down a rabbit hole or two in each video, which might, uh, it might last five minutes, might last ten minutes. You know, I might start telling a story. You never really know. The other thing is that I'm definitely not as sharp. I'm not as sharp. You know, it doesn't matter what you say. You might, you might feel more creative. You might feel, you know, more inspired. Um, you might feel like your brain's sort of been opened up a little bit more but if you're trying to do if you're trying to do um you know tasks that require a whole heap of concentration which some of these reactions actually do for me to continue you know reacting i guess continue putting my my best opinions my best thoughts forward without just internalizing them um if that makes sense then smoking weed definitely doesn't agree with me when I when I come to do reactions. But you know what? I'm in Melbourne. It's a it's a fucking stunning day, uh, and it's a stunning view. And I'm going to show you guys that once I finish rolling this joint live with you guys. I wonder if OBJ has smoked a joint before. Has he? Has he? Don't lie to me. OBJ. Don't lie to me. Anyway, regardless of if he has or not, I'm going to do it for him. See you in a second. Nick Minute. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is just quickly show you guys what kind of view we're working with here. That is Melbourne City in the background. That is a huge parkland which I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but there's constantly people playing sport, constantly people doing yoga, walking their dogs, going for runs, all that kind of thing. And then in the background you can see the city. Which, you know what man, after being in Alice Springs so long, just things like this, I mean I actually, I paid you know, a decent amount for this apartment, probably for the view, but it's a sweet apartment too, but, you know, it's just, this is where I want to be, man, this is where I want to be. It's just, I've got so many commitments. But we're playing football. And that's why I'm down here, guys, if you're wondering why I'm in Melbourne. Um, basically, <laughs> as bad as this sounds, I have to play American football. I have to give it a go. That's one of the main reasons why I'm here. Anyways, before we go inside and continue down the top 100 list with OBJ, I'm going to finish this and I'll see you inside, okay? Actually, I probably shouldn't have too much. I'll have like two, three cups. Is that three or is that two? No, nah, that's two. Alright, third one. Oh. 
Okay. And we're not even going to shut the camera off. We're going to keep it rolling. Because why not? You know, each one of these reaction videos, I'm always looking for something slightly different, just to give it a bit of a, a bit of a difference to the others. So, let's crack into it. OBJ, I've been looking forward to this for a long time. I just wish I could have worn my Giants gear. Well, actually, I don't have any Giants gear. I've got a defense, D picket fence for the Giants. I've got a small Giants miniature helmet. And I have a Giants flag, which is pretty sweet. Let's get into it. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Oh. Seven? Well, I was well off, wasn't I? Oh, down off his shoulders. Uh, it's fucking loud road, isn't it? Ability, his what, sir? Oh, down off his shoulders. Uh, throwing ability. Type of player Odell is. If you throw a little double pass to Odell, that's gonna grab a lot of attention. They throw it to Beckham, who's going to throw a pass downfield. He's got a receiver, and it's caught by Barkley at the 30. 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown Giants! Okay, yeah, it was Beckham to Barkley. Beckham Jr. with the touchdown pass! Excited for him to watch. When the ball is saying you don't know what happened. We've seen Odell, we've seen him throw the ball. It's pretty impressive. Is that, is that really all you can say about him, Barkley? That he can throw the ball? known for his fleet feet, but Odell Beckham Jr. threw defenses for a loop, not once, and around Odell Beckham Jr. but twice, twice. in 2018. Throw it down the middle of the field, wide open! <laughs> Why did he, why did he give this little one, two, three step before throwing it? His man was already open. Was he going to run it? Look. And then chucks it. Wow. Still plenty fleet. Look at those boots. Odell more than 50 spots higher than he was on last year's top 100. So what is it about like, well, I mean a lot of people would say his speed, but I would say it's just his mentality, his mindset. You know, he's not content with what he's done. Right? Yeah, what what is it with Odell? What is it? I know he's fast. He ran like a 4-3 something in the combine. Or was it 4-4-2? He's got amazing feet. But it's just his mentality, apparently. And I'd love to hear this guy's opinion because they're both playing together this year at the Browns, aren't they? Complacent with what he's done. Um, you know, he's always trying to get faster. He's always working on his hands, his routes. Deep ball down the middle of the field looking for Odell Beckham Jr. Did he make the catch in the end zone? Oh. Get your hands out of it, Bradbury. I'm always uh, just checking in and not studying a period. Beckham's competitive fire shows up all over the field. From route running, to the top of the line, everything from the post moves to, oh, that's beautiful. to his iconic one-handed grab. Fuck. Left, right, left. So when he gives that first left, his defender thinks he's about to go off his right. He goes off his right, but then he puts another left in. And they're big steps, too. Competitive fire shows up all over the field. From route running. Left. So that's, his, so that's basically, what's that, going to be a a fade or a post that's going to be a post but not nah, it's going to be an in route now so the defender reacts to that but actually no it's not because he's going to bang another left in to the top of the ride, it's everything. shows up all over the field from route running to the top of the ride, it's everything from the post move to the corner i mean it's easy it's like oh grabs. shit the catch the finish no that's what you want 
Shit, there was no luck about that. He, that was literally the ball straight in the hand. Boom. No movement, no tipping, nothing. One-handed, that's a beautiful one-handed catch. Straight in the, straight in the glove. Wow. See. Make sure to hold it high and tight though. He's got to have some strong hands, got to. Got to. The one thing I do always wonder about receivers is how many times do they get their fingers jammed? Like do they constantly have like swollen fingers? Or are they just so good now that that never happens? Because when I came down here to Melbourne and I went as a receiver, I went as running back yesterday which is great, but the last time I came down, like a year ago, I was too scared to go running back. So I went receiver and I think three catches in, I jammed my finger and then at the end of the practice I jammed my thumb. So I came out of that with both hands unable to be used, in, at least in my opinion, unless you guys tape them up or something. But the, the jamming of the fingers with the ball is, it's got to have caused issues, surely. Or maybe it was just me. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into number 22. Stefan Gilmore, cornerback for the Patriots. Now I don't want to say a cornerback's boring, but it's certainly no running back. If you have liked this video guys, if you've liked the whole thing, the whole intro, sitting outside, all that shit, hit the like button. It's a huge help for me in this channel, it's a huge help for the algorithm, it helps this video get out there for more people, and um, you're all fucking legends. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.